Why does my Kench keep trolling? Oh, I'm so No, this guy's so strong. Level nine, late game specialist with hedge fund, two star all legendaries. I'm one round away from hatching the egg. Yeah, it's not even close. Max pumping up stacks, doesn't matter. These boards are crazy. No, my one stack egg. Man, three people died this round. Literally, if I hatch my egg one turn earlier by hitting the bards, I just like go like first. Instead, it's a seventh. One more try. What a sad game. I had to hit the bards right there and I failed. Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly mention, I've partnered up with Mobilytics to bring you all of my TFT builds. That's right, you can find all of my TFT builds on the Mobilytics website with the link provided in the description below. Thanks for listening and thanks for your support. Fortune, oh boy. Dang it, no team out. My Duelist. destination is clear. All right, give me a Timo or a Kabuki. Oh, wait, okay. Story How about just Duelist? Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find my disco of the set. It's time for Duelist Box Box. I'm going to play Duelist every single game, no matter what. My Prepare for 40 straight games of Duelist. <laughs> I summon a duelist crest. Witness proves. Duelist crest. Wrath of the Moon. Okay, fuck. I don't like Wrath of the Moon because it's basically saying, uh, it's basically saying play uh, Umbral. I'll just do Slimin. Fuck it. Fine, you win. I'll play flexibly. I'll play flexibly. Yep. Yeah, I enjoyed forcing duelists, but my duelist arc is over, everybody. I'm sad to announce that. <laughs> Unless I had a Kiana. Yes. Oh, maybe it's for the best, because this guy has extended duel. How many of you guys know where this song is from? It's from a, a very old school classic, if you're my age. If you're around my age, this song was from one of the best games of all time. Yeah, it's from Call of Duty Zombies. I never even played the regular Call of Duty. I only bought it to play the zombies. Good times. Okay. I'm gonna bank on... I'm gonna bank on not facing level 5 Psycho. Okay, nice. Oh wait, fuck. I need this mouth fight. Is Darius is pretty strong. All right, we're just gonna flex. Timo has a golden spatula. Oh God, this is a really bad character. There's a fawn! There's a fawn! Okay, calm down, think. Man, he's got fortune! Fuck, he's got fortune. Should I just slam heavenly spat to like, tempo? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to play win streak. Might as well. I could have slammed on like two different units if I wanted to hold it, but I feel like this is fine, right? I've got a Heavenly is like generically decent for flex play. Or I'd say it's generically good in all situations, which makes it great for flex play. I'm so hungry. Hang on. If I don't find food, I'm gonna eat one of you guys. We don't have any food. All right, I need calories. Are any of you guys a good source of calories? 
I want about a, a 500 calorie snack. Oh, <laughs> Bard? Bard Kench in the same shop? And I already have a Cho'Gath too? I mean, and, and a Teemo? Don't mind if I do. Do you think I win this? Oh, Tristan actually does some damage. 286 damage. Alright, good 5 streak. Good slamming. This early Darius 2 kind of popped off. I actually really like slamming. It's it's exactly my playstyle. I always like to slam all my items and then try for streak. So it's great to have an augment that rewards that playstyle. This guy didn't slam his, his fawn. I mean, it makes sense. He's trying to lose streak. Wait, Lee Sin? Wait. There's no world where I play this Lee Sin, right? Let's see if I get a Gwyn Suze. Imagine getting dropped exactly a bow and a rock. And a rod. There's there's no way, right? For slam it. Rod? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? There ain't no way. <laughs> I, got, I got the best bard shove. I was like. Huh, I mean, what are the odds I get exactly a bow and a rod? Oh, I have to slam this. Someone, uh, Timo, you can just hold it. Okay, we'll get rid of this Darius soon. Oh, this guy looks kind of strong. Maybe my bard can stack up. Oh, nice. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. 32 HP. Literally slamming the tier on Teemo made a diff. Wait, team building. I shouldn't. Wait, no, I should. I'm not gonna play Bard though. Like, guys, trust me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Okay, I'm just rolling so that I can hit a. Quay! Wait, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. No way. <laughs> what a game. I was just gonna roll for a bard pair so that I could um, duplicate right now and win streak. Okay, on a more serious note, I'm actually gonna roll here to try to hit a bard to keep my Kong. I'm just looking for a bard so I can dupe and keep my streak. What what did I call him by accident? I called him Kong. I mean, isn't his name Sun Wukong? Oh, oh fuck, slamming. Wait, I'm, I'm just the best. This is just proof that I'm the best. Bard loves me. Alright, and then in like 20 turns, I'll have a guaranteed Kench 3. Alright, so I have a tier right now. Uh, let's get half of a Gwinsu's, half of a Gunblade, or just a good Hoya item. Wait, literally, if, we, if this is a tuber, the previously on, or the previously game is going to be sick. It's going to be me failing with Bard into this. Oh. oh my god, what a shop. Boom, boom. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, my only concern is that I'm at literally zero gold. But like, as long as I get my streak, it's totally fine. Yep. 
How dare anybody complain about TFT being an RNG based game when I'm out here out skilling all my opponents by rolling once at seven with 10 gold and then hitting Huey? How can you say you are trying to win if you're not willing to do that? I mean, this is my egg cash out from last game. That's a funny way to put it. Faded Yone, I wonder if that's good. Probably just playing it for now. Hello, Eden Sane. Welcome. Guys, I truly am playing a very brave build. The ultra brave build of Bard 3 <laughs> with a Quincy's. What's the thing under your Bard? Oh, uh, that's a Malphite. He's all right. Filler unit. Zero over Teemo. Nah, nah, nah. You're probably saying that because Sivir gives attack speed. It's not worth clumping. Wait, who else is in this build? Who am I missing? Yeah, I guess Soraka. Six Tom Kenches. That's true, I am missing six Tom Kenches. Oh, there's one of them. Wait, what the hell? I just got... Wow, okay. All right, let's be a psycho. I'm slamming. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even make econ. <laughs> Wait, I'm such a degenerate. I've been playing the entire game at less than one econ. Just relying on keeping my streak. This is actually like the worst way to play TFT. It's so fun though. I kept on having like my next in. Can you blame me? You can make econ? Wait, no I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd have to sell a, a bard. Not worth. I go with it. Gifts from the fallen. Fall gifts from the fallen is nice. Wait, it's probably actually heroic grab bag. Yeah, get my three stars like right now. No prison can hold me. Oh wow, Silas too, just like that. No prison can hold me. Wait, how is this so easy? How is this game so easy? I, I still, I'm about to get another duplicator too from team building. Box box, didn't you say you weren't gonna play Bard 3 this game? I'm not! I'm playing flex tempo Bard, right? I'm level eight zero gold. This is, this is flex Bard. I'm not re-rolling for Bard 3, guys. Like, it, okay, don't get me wrong. If Bard 3 fell into my lap, I would play him, but I'm not forcing Bard from this spot. My journey's only beginning. Oh, Bard 3. Okay, see, I wasn't forcing it. He just showed up, okay? I wasn't particularly trying to get him. What a game. <laughs> oh. Why aren't you making an econ? Because I had to roll for Lilia. I really, really want Lilia. I just like looking at her portrait. Oh, hey, a Lilia. I lost! Wait, my, uh, my streak. William, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I like the lesser champion. There's, there's a catch. A lesser champion duplicator. Wait, yeah, I won every single fight until I hit the bard. All right, so I need to hit one more bard, uh, one more Kench, and then triple dupe. All right, that fight just sh goes to show that the real overpowered unit of the set is not Bard, it's Kench. Without the unkillable Kench to hide behind, like, this unit doesn't actually do anything. Well, sorry, he does do a lot, but he doesn't do enough. Pretty sure if it was the other way around, three-star Kench, uh, two-star Bard, you easily win all fights. Okay, also, something we have to think about for real, like, I, I, I know I was having a bit of fun this game, but something we have to actually think about is that I have three Econ Augments, right? And that's, like, pretty bad. Three Econ Augments means, like, if you don't hit something crazy at the end, you actually will lose. Like, 3-star Bard and Kench will lose. So what I need to do here is, uh, 
hit like a three star four cost or something with the power of Huey. Well, thank you for the raid, Turtle Duck. Oh, wow. Senna offers you to s win? Yeah, I'd win. Yeah, I'd win. Okay, I mean, this isn't the traditional bard build, but like, whatever. We were just flexing. Now we go nine. I don't really need to do like seven mythic anyway. I can do five. Okay, if I lose, I'm gonna be really sad. But like, no way, right? No way this board loses. This Yak Yak guy is confident. Although he was the guy who beat me, but I can't face him anymore. Who are you gonna put at nine? Uh, I haven't thought that far in advance yet. Probably just more mythic, uh, more heavenly. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Am I gonna lose? Okay, no, no, we're fine. It was looking a little bad. Wait. Wait. Wait! What? Dude! Oh my god. Oh my- I just lost so much money. I just lost so much money for that. How did I- My bard kept stopping his autos for some reason. Like, every time he swapped targets. Oh god. He, he wasn't even strong. What happened? It was one star Syndra with- Oh, two faded crests. Fuck. Rod? Dang it. Okay, I think I have to do red buff. I never Why not Nashers? It's not good on Bard. Red buff is like, okay. I can't believe I lost. I can't, I can't level like a psycho now. Wait, this is actually looking pretty bad. I should probably roll for Kench. Yes. How many Kench's in the game? Okay, like none. I'm just gonna roll for one Kench. How hard could it be? Roll for one Kench and then dupe. Roll for one Kench and then dupe. One Kench and then dupe. Heart is empty without empathy. Travel awaits. Every an enticing culinary prospect. River A. My channel I feel closest to. Okay. So now I can go Prince of Two Star Huey. And I should be able to save HP here. I'm probably not gonna win the game. Three Econ Augments? I'm telling you, like it's it's actually so bad to have three Econ Augments. I also don't have best in slot bard. I have like kind of janky items. I do have a three star Kench, which should get me some uh, wins or at least save a lot of HP. But like, I'm not actually in that great of a spot. Bard and Kench are kind of the best units of the set right now, but when you have to use three Econ Augments to get them. Actually, it's kind of crazy. Like, I guess I didn't play like the standard build. I like actually tempoed it. And I'm playing around the way and like random mythics or random heavenlies. Okay, so I gotta ask myself a couple questions here. Udyr's gotta be better, right? Oh, but Malphite gives quite a lot of defensive stats. The Heavenlies all give like quite a lot of stats. Like, I don't think it's worth it to swap in seven Mythic. Yeah, I don't think the seven, it's, it's not that much stronger. So I'm not gonna swap in the Lilia. Udyr two would go pretty hard. I need to make Econ though. Um... Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll go nine and play one of these legendaries. All right, zero combat augments, Kench three. How strong can you possibly be? Yeah, I need a, I need a Hextech Gunblade really, really bad. Oh no. Sorry, Bard, we, we still don't have an item for you. All right, to be fair, none of these items are very good. Like maybe Hodge, but he's not taking damage until the end of a fight. All right, I'm just gonna level. Try to save me some HP. Oh wait. Okay, I need, I need to find one more mythic unit over Silas.
Okay, sorry, my brain is slow. It's late. I, I, was, I was supposed to roll for one more mythic unit. God. This is what taking three econ augments does to you. I played too much for tempo. Okay, to be fair, it is gonna get me a really easy top four. It's just, uh, yep, biting me in the butt a little bit right now. All right, come on, Albert. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. I'm actually gonna roll and see uh, which one I can hit. Okay. All right. Just get a third bard item and maybe I can get top three. It's probably gonna be a third place, but I'd be very happy with it for like maybe second place if I'm lucky. This bard isn't doing as much damage as I thought. It's like kind of slow. Oh, I won. Why didn't you print Huey? No, two star Udyr is really good. Like, game winning. Uh, Udyr has some incredible late game power because he can, he can like assassinate carries. His ability, it's really weird, but he like dives into the back line and then starts like bonk, bonk, bonk. He like picks him up, like bonk, bonk, bonk. It's really interesting. Okay guys, everybody pray for me. Zero combat augments. I need to get a Gwinsu's or a Gunblade. Nothing else. I mean, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get, but like, you know, it really needs to be a Gwinsu's or a Gunblade. Alright, we're at the end of the game. Let's roll. Oh! Okay, are you guys ready for this? So look at this. I put my Udyr in front of his Azir. Watch what my Udyr does. Oh, he moved. Okay, no problem. Grab the Lissandra, I'm down. Okay, maybe this Gunblade saves me. Come on! Can I get a B in chat? In support of our Bard? Uh oh. Okay. I got bad news. This doesn't look winnable. Actually, wait, wasn't that like kind of close? Hmm. Okay, I have a couple ideas. This guy I'm not worried about positioning wise, but against the other guy, I think I'm gonna put Bard in the middle. My Bard was getting hella stunned and then my Udyr missed, or more like I missed my Udyr positioning. Quay 2 also should make a pretty big diff. Okay, final battle. Legends are told in word and key. This guy has got the fully capped out board. Two star Azir. One star Huey is pretty terrifying though. Two star all four costs. It's a good second place, honestly. Oh wait. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Please, please tell me he's over here. No, I guess wrong. I guess wrong. I should have just scouted him. I spent all my time thinking about if Set was better than Wukong. I'm pretty sure he is. Wukong gives 12% attack speed, but Set is good frontline in CC. It actually looks almost winnable. Wait, hang on, hang on. Maybe it is winnable. It's really close. All right, two star Huey maybe? Oh, I know, I know. I know what saves us. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Okay, this time I am definitely on the correct side. I don't expect to win. Again, he's got a fully kept out board with three combat augments. I have three econ augments. 
But if there was a way to win, it's by getting my Udyr into the back line with three items. Quake gives up his Shojin. Quake gives up his Mythic. Let's see if it works out. I don't think it did. Uh oh. Man, that was a good try. I failed to get my Udyr in, but that's okay. We all knew that I was not going to get very far unless I hit a three star four cost. Straight to the